All right, guys, this is going to be a quick, no, it's not going to be quick. This will be a channel update type video, and this is mostly for my regular viewers. Um, first of all, big thanks to all of you guys for keeping me motivated and inspired to um, make, I try to do one video per day, and sometimes even more. Um, so to keep, to keep, that flow going, it, it certainly helps that you guys are actually watching and interacting. Um, and then, of course, everybody that lends in, you know, whether it's, um, you know, Tony or Homer or Chris or Bruce or, I mean, I, I don't want to name drop everybody, but you, you guys know who you are. The So far, the, the community that has lent in, and I'm always open to uh, new people interacting with the channel and getting involved because that's what makes it work. So on top of the fact of the manufacturers like Spinnaker and Zelos and, um, you know, Raven and Borealis and all of these great manufacturers that lend in. And then there's the smaller micro brands too, you know, that will send in. Um, and I like to show everything, you know, just because it's maybe not the watch that you want to see or that you're really looking at buying or something that you kind of frown on or, Maybe it's, you know, too too insignificant or too significant. Wh whichever way it is, I like to feature all of it. So, you know, whether it's G-Shocks, Micros, name brands, you know, uh, Rolex, Omega, whatever whatever I can get my hands on, I, I want to check it out. And I, I want you to check it out with me. So um, that's how this channel works. That's how I want it to continue to work. So... If you are interested in getting a hold of me and working with me or something like that, I'll put my email in the description and there's also a mailing address if you want to send in a postcard or a letter or whatever, whatever. I'll, maybe I'll, as the channel grows, maybe it'll become a regular thing where we'll do mail or something. Um, super apologize, I didn't write down who sent these. These were sent in with some watches, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm like, guys, I'm super bad with names. I, I'm trying to improve on it, but, uh, he wrote LA is Seiko country and Steinhardt and Squale too. So I'm guessing it's, uh, forget his name that sent in all three of those brand watches. So big thanks for those. Those are definitely going on the post part, uh, the postcard board wall thing. Um, these were, this was sent in by Chris who sent in, uh, that group of five watches are really cool ones at Helios and the Baltic and, Stuff like that. He's uh, in the beautiful Hawaii. So big thanks to Chris for sending that in. So I want to break down real quick some of the videos I have on Docket that I, I'm hoping to make soon. Uh, of course, I have the Spinnaker. I have the Zelos. Um, I have the Al 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 Alpina. Uh, I have a, a small group of really cool monsters that I want to video and show you guys. And they'll also be for sale. Um, I want to talk about uh, Larson's build. Um, this is his SKX build. I had a heck of a time dealing with the bezel. So I ended up going back to the stock bezel. I got a clean crystal install, um, and I got the stock bezel on there. This is just sitting on there. You can't set the bezel insert until you get the uh, movement and everything in there so I can line everything up. So this move or this uh, build will be completed, and then I'll do another video on that, but I'll, breaking that down. But I'll also do a video on... Um, bad news, you know, unfortunate for some people, but it's also positive news for me because it's going to free me up time-wise and because um, it was kind of consuming way too much time. I'm going to stop doing mods. So, uh, and I'll do a video on that. I'll explain exactly why. Um, but I have a small inventory of uh, OEM Seiko parts, aftermarket parts, um, odds and ends, gaskets, stems and crowns and dials and all of that stuff. I will uh, work on itemizing all that stuff and I will do a video putting it all up for sale. So if you're interested in the modding part of things, uh, that will be coming as well. And there's some other videos I want to do. So there's that one. Um, I'm debating whether to put my opinion further on the Seiko quality control issues uh, I, I think I will do that video and relate it to uh, some opportunities with micros. So um, I have I have a couple of people that, that want 
the video uh, quartz only collection. I'm excited to actually make that and I've been working on that behind the scenes. I think I have a Hampton H2 on the way soon. That's actually a really cool micro brand there. It's in Kickstarter right now. Um, uh, let's talk about what watch-wise, what I'm looking at and doing, because I know today's the 19th, tomorrow's the 20th, everyone's focused on Basel. Um, I may post this video tonight. I probably will post it tonight. Um, obviously, I'm looking at the Borealis Adraga. Uh, I have the bronze version. I am certainly getting the white dialed stainless steel version. I'm super excited about that one. Um, another one that just kind of popped on the radar that I'm definitely going to grab is um, Steve over at Raven. Uh, come out with a new model. He actually has a contest going to name it. Um, it's very similar with indices and hands to the Endeavor. But it's going to be in a 42 mil case, but the, it's, the way it's bulged out, the bezel is only 40 mil. So really good sizing on that guy. Um, you, you submit a name and he's going to pick it and everything like that. Um, so I'm definitely interested in that watch. Um, I'm still toying with the idea of getting an NTH sub. Um, I know I'm, I'm bouncing in and out of like the homage type stuff, but um, I just feel like there's one particular model. And if I do commit to it, which I think I may, um, I will, I'll share it with you guys. But it's, there's only one model that really draws my attention. Um, so I have, everybody's got a birthday coming up, but I have a birthday coming up at the end of May. And it's my goal to purchase a Tudor Black Bay 58 on bracelet for my birthday. So um, I have some strong feelers out there and I think because I can't really find one on bracelet anywhere. Um, I'm, I think I'm just gonna place an order for it, put the half down deposit, and then uh, wait for it to come in. I think it'll come in right about the perfect timing on that stuff, so. Um, there's other micros that I'm definitely, you know, drawn to, like I picked up this Armida. Um, that kinda rekindled, well, that's not the only thing that rekindled it. Uh, you know, the Raven and the Borealis, so like I, I feel like the micro brands are, a sweet spot for me right now because they range in price on the used market, say two two fifty, all the way up to um, you know the thousand dollar mark if you're going to buy brand new. And I think there's a, a really good uh, variety and uh, pretty much a watch for anybody in that genre. So um, I think that's about it. I am I'm actually going to I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm really working on making it to the worn and wound uh, uh, wind-up event in New York so for 2019. I know I said I was going to go last year and I didn't so hopefully this year I'll be able to go. Not hopefully, I'm going to make it happen. So uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching. That's just a long update of what I got going on, what I want to do, what's coming up and all that good stuff. So um, again, link in the description for email and I will actually put the address and I know everyone freaks out, oh, don't put your address down. It's not my physical address where I live. It's an address to a UPS store I have. So, and the reason I did that, for one, I don't need people knowing exactly where I live. Some people do, some people don't. I don't really care about that so much as that, you know, a lot of these shipments are coming in from overseas. They're DHL, UPS, FedEx. A lot of them require your signatures. It's just easier for those packages to go there. They handle it all. And then I try to pick it up like once or twice a week because it is about a 40 minute drive for me to get to that location so all right guys thanks for watching and uh, listening to the ramble hopefully i will connect with some of you guys real soon